sweat drips down your skin. You know you can't win, heart beating out your chest. The worst has not come yet as the time draws near and you realise your worst fear that it, it's here. It's time to meet her parents. Yeah, you know that feeling too. It's a scary rite of passage every couple must go through when the girl meets the mother who will love her more than she ever will and the guy meets the dad who, let's be honest, he kind of wants to kill. So you better be the perfect person for their baby. Three degrees, a great job. All your hair, no maybes. Catholic, but not too Catholic, you see. And a manager position and a six-figure salary at 23. But you see, I thought all of this would actually be okay for me. Because when I was young, there was nothing more I wanted to be than a doctor. Yeah, a doctor. I wanted to break down and build to create and help fulfill dreams. To study the great mysteries of the human body, like... What happens when we hear Shakespeare? Or what goes through someone's head when they try and figure out anything James Joyce ever said? See, I wanted nothing more than to be a distinguished doctor of English. Now, <laughs> you could see her parents' hearts rise when I said doctor and fall just a little when I said English. But hey, the study of literature is important too. Like you got drama and prose and poetry and actually... Actually, I keep having this reoccurring dream, right? Where I'm out for a bite to eat and the man begins choking too many bread rolls between his cheeks and someone screams, We need a doctor! And I scream, I'm a doctor! Everything will be alright! I run over, I grab his hand and I say, Do not go gently into that good night. Old age should rave and burn at close of day and everyone was of course okay. Now, personally, my meeting with her parents went well and... Eventually, I could tell that they accepted the prestige of my English degrees when I told them, honestly, literally, that there's big money and steady career options in reading and writing poetry. I hope they didn't take me too seriously.